hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing like share and comment on this video don't forget to press the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video you'll be the first one to be notified and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always supporting this channel uh, we are growing and we are on a road to 4,000 subscribers and I believe by the end of this week we will definitely achieve that and then we will be on the road to 5,000 subscribers and with all your support I'm so so grateful I'm sure we will definitely reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year so thank you so much as you already see on the title to today I'm creating this video to answer some of your questions that I get under the Qatar Airways uh, videos can I get a job in Qatar Airways if I have tattoos can I get a job in Qatar Airways if I have scars if I have dreadlocks so guys I'm here to answer those questions so make sure you watch this video till the end without wasting time let's jump into today's video <laughs> so a lot of you want to know if in case you have a tattoo because you know when you send your application they don't they can never see your tattoo they can never see the scars that you have it's not visible on the on your cv right because you all normally have a picture on your cv so they can't see that but yet uh even there was a video i posted recently and someone asked me it to be third from this that I, you're watching now somebody asked me i have been shortlisted on the second which was april the the assessment in nairobi on the 2nd of april i have a tattoo on my chest and also on my upper hand but it's not visible if i wear both short or long sleeve can they check and there was somebody who asked me also which scars do they check do they check stomach scars or just scars like maybe visible scars so i know a lot of you don't know which kind of scars they check even me I'm, i don't work in Qatar Airways, so i don't know which kind of scars they check but then i had to ask some of the cabin crews who i know that i work in Qatar Airways, and they told me about the scars and the tattoos and if you have dreadlocks so what can you do and braces by the way guys and also braces if you can be hired if you have braces so i came to a conclusion and this is what i gathered from everyone that i ask guys first i will start with scars and then i'll talk about tattoos and then i'll talk about dreadlocks and then i'll talk about braces i remember when i was going for my interview for the cabin crew in qatar i met so many people there who had who told me they had braces and they had to remove the braces first thing Qatar Airways don't allow braces you can't be a cabin crew if you have braces i'm not sure if you're working on the ground if you can have braces but if you are a cabin crew you are not allowed to have braces reason being they feel like um some people won't like you know some braces are not like beautiful you meet somebody and you see them having pink braces blue braces they, they, for me i don't know for you it depends with you or it depends with anyone some people don't like braces that's why they even consider having uh, the colorless braces but then Qatar Airways they don't allow braces if you want to be a cabin crew if you want to work as a cabin crew for Qatar Airways you cannot have braces you cannot work with braces so even now uh, when you are attending the interview make sure you remove the braces because if you send your application they won't know if you have braces but then again if you go for the interview and you open your mouth and you have braces they won't tell you that we will not hire you because you have braces no they'll just tell you like oh we'll send you an email and uh, thank you for your time but just know that's the end of it i always tell you when they tell you that they will send you an email that's the end of it because if you get hired with Qatar Airways, you will know immediately like if you are selected for that uh, from that interview you will know immediately because they will they will give you a paper to attend the second interview if you don't get that paper just go, just go back home knowing that you are not selected for that position that day anyways for the tattoos Qatar Airways don't allow tattoos at all, like at all, at all, at all. Not unless you go for the interview, you pass the interview and you get hired and you work in Qatar Airways for almost 
uh, let's say one or two years as a cabin crew and then you decide to have a tattoo you can put you can put if you have the tattoo somewhere that is not visible but then again my friend told me if any of your colleagues sees that tattoo they can report you yes because sometimes you find that you have a tattoo maybe on your boobs or maybe under your boobs or under you know your belly somewhere that is not even visible but then again if one of your colleagues report that you have a tattoo then that's the end of it so just know if you are going for Qatar Airways because you have to declare your tattoos you might be lucky you you might say I don't have a tattoo and because they won't go to your private part to check if you have tattoos correct me if I'm wrong on the comment section I don't think if they will go on your private part to check if you have tattoo because there are some people who have tattoos on your on their private part which is okay but they definitely will they won't uh, check that but they will tell you to declare your tattoo visible one and invisible one so if you have tattoo then just know maybe you have your chance is 50 50 they might hire you they might not hire you especially if there are those people who have tattoos on their hands because something i came to realize with qatar airways you see these parts that are visible like your face you know anything you are you are you, are, you know your legs these visible parts of your body they always check them like seriously guys so if you have tattoo that are visible and you uh, you applied for Qatar Airways and they selected you when you are doing the application don't go on that day of the assessment because if the tattoo is showing even if you wear a long sleeve shirt okay you'll be selected and maybe they like you and your interview goes well on the first day and you have to attend the second interview just know you will reach a point that you'll have to declare your tattoos and if it's a tattoo that is on a visible part of your body they will definitely see it so don't waste your time if you have tattoo don't even send application apply on different position like maybe apply something else like customer service because with that they are not that serious you know to work in Hamad airport because I don't know why a lot of people struggle so much like if you're not selected for the first time as a cabin crew you apply again you apply again you get you keep getting disappointed just go and apply for another different position they have so many positions they have ground staff so you can try your luck with something else if I be honest I know somebody that works in Qatar Airways and has a tattoo but it's not visible but she's not working as a cabin crew she's working as a ground staff so you can try your luck if you're not selected as a cabin crew then try ground stuff yeah so yeah something else is dreadlocks uh, a lot of Africans normally have dreadlocks especially men and female also if you are a female you can you can do with the dreadlocks but it depends on how long they are can you put them on a band like can you do them like you know because if you work as a cabin crew you can do braids and braids are almost similar to dreadlocks but one thing you have to know is you know when you do braids let's say if you're a woman you know this this kind of uh, new braids like uh, knotless if you do knotless braids they always show space with Qatar Airways they don't want that they don't want to see your skin your scalp they don't want to see your scalp so when you do braids you have to do those braids that are full that they cannot see your scalp so imagine if you have dreadlocks dreadlocks are always like you can have dreadlock here one dreadlocks are normally less on your head and if you don't do repair sometimes they look so ugly and they can skip they and they can see your scalp so definitely if you're going for the assessment and you have dreadlocks if you are a woman make sure you go and redo them to look neat but because um you are not sure if you will be selected so you, you don't want to shave your dreadlocks but then again i remember there was somebody who was asked he went for the assessment and he was asked are you ready to, to shave off your dreadlocks and he said yeah i'm ready to shave off so if they like you they will ask you if you're ready to shave your dreadlocks so if you're a woman or if you're a man and your dreadlocks don't look if if you're a woman and your dreadlocks don't look nice and they don't like it but they like you as a person they will ask you if you are ready to shave them if you're ready then you'll be selected but for guys you cannot work as a cabin crew with dreadlocks so you have to shave them and they will ask you if they like you as well they will ask you to shave the dreadlocks so if you have dreadlocks just know you cannot be a cabin crew 
and the last but not least is scars of course um, it's not that everyone who works as a cabin crew doesn't have scars it depends on where the scar is some people even have scars on the face and they're working as a cabin crew but then again it depends what kind of scar what i was told is if the scar is visible and it's ugly then it's not allowed so let's say for example there are some types of scars that you might have on your face especially if you are a man and you cannot cover that scar then some different types of scars that you can have you can have a birthmark scar and you can have a scar which is a childhood scar maybe something happened to you when you're a kid growing up and then you ended up having a scar like a lifetime scar and there's just scars that can just go away anytime like me say for example i don't know if you can see I burned myself the other day here. I don't know. Yeah, here it is. Let me zoom it. So I have this car here. I burned myself, and uh, definitely this car will go off. But then again, it depends on how ugly and how visible is this car. For Katariawis, if the car is visible and ugly, then that's a no-no. Because for women, it depends. A lot of us have scar from maybe acne even for men but mostly men cannot hide some of their scars and they might be looking ugly which is something to be honest we cannot control but you know for a woman you can cover your scars with makeup but then again it depends what type of a scar if it's a big scar that if you even cover it it shows it might look ugly to the customer and if the scar is on your face but then again if you go for the interview you put on makeup and then the makeup is hiding the scar they can see you have a scar but it's not ugly but then you can hide it with your makeup then that's not a problem but if it's a scar i don't know if you know those kind of scars i will find a picture and insert here if it's those bat marks that people normally have like a black thing or those things that people have i see people who normally have those you know listen freckles are not scars because freckles if you put on makeup and concealer you won't see them but there are those there are, but there are those black things that normally grow on your face people have those things some people have those things that normally grow on their face like it's like a birthmark scar you know i don't know if we call it a scar or what can we call it but then again if it's showing some people will find them ugly so no 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 but if it's something that you can hide, just go on that interview that day. Try as much as you can to put a nice and simple makeup that can hide that scar. Even if it's there but it's not showing, then go for it. Yeah, you never know. And then if you have scars on your hands, you know, scars on this part of your body because you use your hands to serve. The guest you know some, some scars that don't look nice and it's showing definitely they won't recruit you if you have those kind of scars or maybe on your neck or maybe on your legs and they look bad then again if you have a scar that is somewhere that is not showing maybe on your stomach maybe on your back just somewhere that is they cannot see the scar and maybe it's not even ugly because if I be honest there are some scars that you can even see them and feel like oh you feel like no 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 no. it depends on somebody like especially some bad marks or just any scars maybe a scar that you got an accident that maybe a key it looks like a keloid something like that i don't know if you understand what i mean those scars are not allowed if any scar is visible on your face you can still go for that interview if you feel like the scar is not as bad as it looks you can do makeup but then again for men it's kind of tricky because with men they cannot put makeup they cannot do anything so if you have scars on your face that you cannot hide with makeup then that's a problem and if you have scars on your hand then that would even be worse it's a problem but for women at least you can put makeup to hide some of the scars because to be honest I am sure there are so many people who have scars in Qatari Airways. Of course, even the recruiters, they know that no one is perfect. Some people have those uh, scars which are bad marks, but they, they don't look bad, bad. If you look at them, they don't look bad. Of course, they won't mind, but they are not supposed to be somewhere so visible. I don't know, because I've worked in a restaurant and I know some guests 
can be nasty to be honest some of the guests can be so bad to be honest because you might be serving them and they don't like the scars that you have they feel like eh, you know anyway guys there are some things we don't have control or if we can't do anything but then those are the rules for Kataria with tattoos braces scars and uh, dreadlocks no dreadlocks no braces no tattoo and scars which are visible are not allowed i hope i've answered some of your questions and if you have more you can put them on the comment section i will definitely answer you guys don't lose hope just check where you have the mark and if you are not selected for cabin crew there are still uh, more options with qatar airways you can work as a ground staff and i will definitely create another video on, on what you can do if your application was not selected or if you went for the interview and you are not selected and uh, what can you do so make sure you press the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload that video i hope you've watched this video till the end if you did don't forget to like share and comment i hope to see you on my next one bye